officially android 16 has a new update and another new beta update this is beta 4 and it's officially available for the google pixel devices right now while making this video if you want to try it out on a device and if you want to know more about android 16 latest beta update the changes and features we'll talk about everything in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end Android 16 already introduced this sort of easter egg which also gives you live live updates in the status bar which I shown you previously in my previous video previous beta update but with this new beta update there are new changes new features and of course some things which are missing we'll talk about everything first of all this feature named as apps list available in the pixel launcher and if you watched my previous video yesterday when I made video on Android 16 GSI beta 4 i shown you some of these features but this is official one so we'll talk about all of those things once again this is apps list available in the pixel launcher whenever you see whenever you hold on the home screen you'll see these options another thing is if you move on to recent panel and click on app icon you will see two new options available in this case one is screenshot and second one is select option as far as i know these options were not available previously this recent panel option named as screenshot and select all these options are quite useful but the default apps list option the default launcher seems to be i mean mixed opinions in my personal opinion we have some media player changes also if you play media and you will see this media player that background is in dark mode as compared to light mode in previous beta updates if you are using android 16 or even android 15 you might notice a difference in the media player ui another thing is in the wallpapers and style home screen you will see themed icons does not have the beta option available in this case so yes it's been a long time since themed icons are there and every time the icon beta the option named beta but now we do not have that beta option or beta text anymore available in battery section the thing which is missing with this new update is the battery health unfortunately battery health actually was one of the main highlights of using android 16 beta 3 if you watched my previous android 16 beta 3 video but with beta 4 battery health is no more available one more thing is if you move on to system navigation mode gesture navigation you will find the option named as try a demo Previously, this sort of UI, go home, go back, switch apps, or these things were by default available. But now we have try a demo option available. So it isn't available by default. We have the option to choose that we have to option. We have the option to click on that option named as try a demo. Then you will see that UI. Another thing is if you are using under 15 or even previous updates, Wi-Fi filling. This is the UI which you get by default. Wi-Fi password I'm talking about. But with beta 6, as you can see, we have a minor UI change. I just found it after setting it up on my device, after installing through Flash tool from PC. Of course, after resetting, you can say. So we have a minor change available whenever you fill a password in Wi-Fi settings. One more thing is, if you click on settings, icons, or settings, these menus, you will notice the touch reduce. So you'll see a touch preview in this case. It was already there previously but yes with this new update at least it's not gone back not so sure if it is a good thing or not in developer options you will find web view developer tools as far as i know this was not available previously to for more information i just checked my previous updates yes it was not there web view options were there but web view flags which you can enable or disable that's something really amazing it's available with this new update i just discovered it recently Yes, developer settings has some new features or minor changes here and there. For example, this is the one web view flags as you can see, including this one. In developer settings, you will find a Linux development environment, which I'm just showing you. I mean, just a normal thing because it's already there previously. It was available with Android 15. Install Linux terminal in case you don't know. This is included. So after enabling that option, you will see a terminal available in your app section. From that, you can install this thing on your device without root, without any hesitations or third party apps at all. One more thing which is available in developer settings is a minor UI change regarding window management. That force activities to be resizable. It was there in the previous section and now it's moved to the bottom section where you have the window management option. So the windows related settings like multi window and anything else is available below or as a specific section. 
everything else seems to be normal one nothing new but unfortunately no new changes in the terms of quick settings or settings ui but let's see if we get anything with android 16 beta this is it thanks for watching